our righteous Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name, O Lord, for gathering us together again to come and learn at your feet. Lord Jesus, you are the best teacher. We ask that you come and teach us by yourself and by your spirit. Open our understanding in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Briefly, I want to share on what I titled, Making Impact for God. Making Impact for God. In Philippians chapter 3, from verse 13 to 14, Apostle Paul said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ, Christ Jesus. And Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Bible says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Beloved, each and every one of us have been created to make impact in our generation. The dictionary defines impact as a forceful effect, as an indelible mark, as an impression of one thing upon another. The dictionary defines impact as the effect that gives color, bent, and dent to a point of contact. Now, to make impact, therefore, means that we are to create positive effects with our vision, with our calling, with our ministry, and our ministrations. To make impact means we are to leave indelible marks in the life of as many people that we have opportunity to minister to. To make impact means that we are to be a force to reckon with and not mere figure in our generation. To make impact means we are to be a voice to be heard and listened to rather than being a mere echo or an ordinary noise. To make impact also means we are becoming a source of change, a source of turnaround and transformation. It also means making notable impression upon the hearts of people we are opportune to minister to. Beloved, our drama messages, or in whatever capacity God has enabled us to minister, must be packaged and presented in ways that whoever we minister to will be positively affected. And when this happens, then to fulfill the five cardinal points of the drama ministry, the cardinal points of regeneration, revival, restoration, motivation, and enlightenment will then come to fulfillment. On the first day of this our program, our daddy exhorted us with 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, that we should be steadfast. We should become unmovable. We should always abound in the work of the Lord. That is the desire of God for us. And on the second day, our beloved brother, Evangelist Shegun Oke, also made us to understand that we are God's battle acts. According to Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 20 to 23, 
that we are the battle axe and the weapons of war that God has prepared to use to break in pieces the nations, the kings, the princes, and even to destroy nations. And such, we are learning all these things. All these things are being shared with us so that we can make telling and terrific impact with our gifts, with our talents, and with the grace of God upon our lives in this generation, most especially at this still end of the end time. Our ministrations must be like this stone thrown into a pond with mighty ripple effect. Now, why must we make impact? Why should we make impact? Number one, we must make impact because up till now, the harvest is still plenteous and the laborers are still few. Thank God for our brother. It is part of the prayer that was raised. Beloved, the harvest is still plenteous still today. We need God and we need to pray so that more laborers will be sent into the vineyard in order to reap the ripened harvest so that they will not become wasted harvest. Number two reason why we need to make impact is that we have been saved to rise up for the salvation of others. Mm -hmm. The salvation and the destiny of some people are tied to our salvation. It is not by accident or by mistake that we were saved. Number three reason why we need to make impact is so as to justify God's divine deposit of gifts, of graces, of talents and anointing upon our lives. God has deposited so much in us, in resources, in, in anointing, in graces and in gifts. To justify that divine deposit, we must make impact. Another reason why we need to make impact is that we are not created to live in isolation. Our life and our living is connected to some people so that we can impact them. Number five reason why we need to make impact is that your value and your worth is determined by the impact that you make. And another reason is that your impact here on earth will determine your reward when you get to heaven. Beloved, our reward in heaven will be based on the impact that we make here on earth. And finally, on that side, why we need to make impact is that we will, ever, we will forever be remembered for the impact that we have made. Our Lord Jesus Christ has gone for over 2,000 years ago. The apostles, the God's generals that have gone to be with the Lord in glory, we are still remembering what they have done. Because of the impact they made, we are still remembering them today. In fact, we remember them so much that some of them, we even use their name to join with the name of Jesus whenever we are praying. That is to tell us the kind of impact they made in their generation. I pray we will not leave this world without making telling and terrific impact in the name of Jesus. Now, how do we make impact? How do we go about making impact? Number one way to make impact, you have to desire to make impact. What you desire, you can acquire. Don't just wish it. God does not grant wishes. He grants desires. So desire to make impact. To make impact, number two, decide that you will make impact with what God has deposited in you and with what you are learning this week. Decide 
and make up your mind that come what may, you are going to make impact with what you are learning this week. And all that God has deposited in you, you will make impact with them. Then number three, to make impact, you have to determine that you want to make impact. It takes strong determination to be able to make impact. Number four, you have to develop thick skin and resistance against every opposition to your impact making. Yes, there is no denying the fact that opposition will come. And if you mind your opposition, you will lose your position. So develop thick skin and resistance against anything that will not allow you to make impact. And number five, destroy anything that wants to serve as hindrance to your impact making. Whatever will stand as hindrance to your impact making, you have to destroy them. And number six, to make impact, draw closer to like-minded people. People of the same vision, people of the same calling. Birds of a feather, they say, flock together. If you go and mix up or mingle with people that do not understand your calling and your vision, to make impact will be very, very difficult for you. And finally, how do we make impact? Duplicate yourself in others. I already mentioned this Bible passage yesterday. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. We are opposed to Paul. Counsel the pastor Timothy. That the things that you have heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Our daddy admonished us on the first day. That all these things we are learning, we should go and replicate. We should go and duplicate ourselves in our members, in our group members, in our ministry members back home. Don't let these lectures, this knowledge you are acquiring, hang with you. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Somebody said that if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets so well, just the way Michelangelo will paint, or Beethoven will compose music, or Shakespeare will compose poetry. Such a one should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, Here lived a great street sweeper who did his job very well. Beloved, you are not to only be a consumer, but a contributor with your impact. I pray for each and every one of us, the grace and the divine enablement to make telling and terrific impacts upon our generation. In this end time, the Lord will release upon us in the name of Jesus. Our lives will not be lived impactless in the mighty name of Jesus. Every obstacle every obstruction against our impact making shall be totally rooted out and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.